combination. See, that's got, I love these. Hi guys, welcome back. So I thought I would do a video on some things that I have acquired, acquired, that's a very posh word of saying bought. Some of them I bought and um, a couple of them were gifted to me. By the time you see this recording, I will already be in New Orleans with Michael. We tend to go every year if we can, we go for Jazz Fest. So follow me on Instagram if you want to see what I'm going on on my stories from New Orleans but um, yeah we love going Michael is originally from there if you don't already know that I don't get back until next week Tuesday One of them is this dress that I'm wearing it is I found it on the shop bop sale they had a sale of, when was it was it about a month ago now ish and I caved on it and I got this dress it's just a, it's a free people dress it ticks off the boxes of what I look for deep front cap sleeve in out midi flare I'm pretty much a creature of habit. I liked it in this really soft blue. It's like a cottony, thick cotton, linen-like material. Soft, almost like a soft chambray material. And I love it in this sky blue, which is not a color I would often go for. The front is a bit daring, I am not gonna lie. You're gonna need that old tip tape right there to keep everything like that. Or, which I've read from the reviews, some people actually just took it to a tailor and had them add a button like right there. The thing I can say is I wish it had the pocket because I think it would be so nice like this, look. Right, can't you see it with the pocket? I think that would just like finish it off just perfectly. Um, and I loved it enough to get it in two colors, again from the sale. So I also have it in the black and I love the, I love both of them. But I'm funny because I don't usually wear black too much but I made the exception for this because I liked how much skin was showing like here. Um, and your arms as well. So I just like the cut of this dress enough that I thought it would look really pretty to have in um, this color. So yes, and I can imagine teaming this this particular color with gold jewelry. I think that's gonna look really, really just, oh, I just love the idea of wearing that together. So those are the two pieces that I have from Shopbop sale. And I also got this blouse, which you also, which you probably saw in Tuesday's video, which was about, um chic summer appropriate wear for the office right i really love this blouse and i like the sleeves as well just the detail on them i thought was really really nice it's a little bit sort of ruched here and it's got like um like this little pattern that goes all over the front of the blouse it's really really gorgeous so very happy that i got this and i just wear it as you saw in last tuesday's video just with a pair of like high-waisted jeans that's like my favorite way to wear something like that and so how i imagined i was going to wear it them as well but i could see me wearing them also with a pair of trousers as well if i wanted to dress them up so this is also from shop bop the brand of this is english factory and i got it in a size large well everything in the video I'll obviously link below for you I also i have a feeling i'm gonna be wearing these free people dresses in new orleans so on Instagram, you'll probably see that on my stories first before you'll see it appear anywhere else. I got this dress from Reformation. This, I, oh God, I had had my eye on this dress for so long and the only reason that I did not get it any sooner was because I couldn't find my size. That's the what I was trying to think of. Uh, it's sold out in this particular pattern, the chocolate brown with the white tiny polka dots all, all over it. It has that kind of pretty woman vibe to it. Um, and from when she was going to the, was the polo match, I think that's the one, yeah. I love these cap sleeves with the ties on the side. It's kind of similar to how this one is. The in and out of the waist, it just zips up cleanly here and it has like a button at the back of the neck. It fits like a charm. I got very lucky getting this dress. Um, it falls all the way, it's really long, look. I mean, I'm stretching as far as I can. There you go, that's the end of it. So it's an ultra long dress. It hits literally at my ankles. This is a gorgeous dress. It's just, oh, it's, it's everything. I couldn't find it on the Reformation site. All sizes were sold out across the country as well. The Reformation stores were. I happened to be on the Lower East Side because there's a Reformation there and um what happened what happened what happened oh i parked my car outside and i just 
I don't know, I just happened to wander in and just, just to see. So I looked around the store and I didn't see the dress on display. So this is a good tip for you. I went up to the SA and I asked her about this dress. That dress is sold out, but hang on, I think someone returned one size and we have it in the basement. She goes, do you want to have a look? And I said, yeah, sure. Um, not thinking anything of it because one size, I mean, God, talk about crossing your fingers. She brought it up, it's a size four. Now, I think I would normally wear a size six in Reformation. Uh, this is a four, it does fit. Trust me, it really does hug the curves in all the right places. It doesn't skim. If I got a six, it would have, which is a size I actually would have preferred. But this is the four and I took it because I thought, well, if this is not an excuse to, you know, just work out a bit, I don't know what is. So very pleased with this dress. It's stunning just the way it is. It gets a lot of compliments as well when I wear it. Um, and I usually wear it either with a pair of kitten heeled shoes. Also will look good. I can imagine with espadrilles, like my wedge castanet espadrilles I love to wear. So yeah, this is just, oh. Very pleased about this dress. <laughs> Another piece, um, this what I was gifted, it's to celebrate a collaboration that Veronica Beer did with Shopbop, and I was invited to a dinner and they gifted me a piece. And I got this, let me just show you so you can see it properly. It's actually, it's actually eyelet material, and I love eyelet material. So I got these pants and the top to match it. So it's a one sleeve, one shoulder top, there you go. I just love it. It's beautiful. I didn't even order it. I didn't know what I was going to get. They just said, what is your size? Um, we'll send you something. And I was like, oh, God, what are they going to send? You know, because you don't know what is going to come in the mail. Are you going to like it? Are you not going to like it? And you've got to kind of wear it. But anyway, I they they did good. I was like, bow down. You, you guys you, you guys did good. I it's a trouser two-piece versus a skirt. These um, separately as, as you want like this with a pair of t just a t-shirt would look really cool and obviously the top as well you can wear with anything else but worn together it looks so good okay so i've been on a bit of a denim hunt now i as you know i did the video on the denim challenge and trying to find a pair of straight leg jeans and you lot know that i went with these and other stories jeans these straight leg cut jeans these are great i'm very happy about these they're a mid rise so not too high not too low it's just Goldilocks, just just right. I like the, the wash of them as well. These are a frayed hem, but it's not too much, just enough. Obviously you could cut off that fray if that really bothers you or have them hemmed. I love that straight shape to them, see? And it just doesn't go in and taper in. Like so many, when I tried on so many of those jeans on that day, so many jeans just taper in. I'll link the video below if you've not seen. I just go to about four different stalls and I try on different denim straight leg jeans and I ended up picking these and you'll see in the video that I picked them and why and why I didn't take the other ones. Why is there such an overwhelming majority of jeans that are like that? I also have two pairs of jeans from H&M and these are new to me. I got this this pair which you saw me wear in front on Tuesday's video. Um, I'll insert some cutaways here so you can see them on me but I do like these jeans. Um, they, I didn't see these in the store, at least I didn't notice them in the store, but sometimes it, I find it easier just to look online for certain things, but and this was one of those cases. This does have stretch in it. Now, I want to address an issue. When I talked in the denim challenge video, I said how I hate denim that has stretch. What I meant to say, and I should have obviously said it correctly then, was I hate jegging type of jeans. When I say I hate jeans that have stretch, I mean I hate stretchy jeans stretchy jeans as in jegging type of jeans that literally look like a pair of jeggings and they've just added the zip and the button to close it that they look like leggings basically i those are the kind of jeans that i personally don't like um but i do like a pair a bit of lycra in jeans so there you go that is what i should have said in the beginning of the other video but Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, stretch is needed, especially when you've got curves. I have curves. The end of the stories ones don't have that much stretch in them. And there's a favorite pair of um, Levi's. They're 550, Levi 550. But with these, they do have some stretch in them, but they just, they fit so well. 
they're high waisted, so you can imagine, so it starts obviously from here on your crotch and goes all the way up to here. I love the wash, I love this little bit of distress in here. Um, not much like distressing everywhere, like holes or anything, and I like that about them. And they've got a very simple finished off hem. And I like the placement of the pockets as well. It sits kind of high-ish on my bum, which always looks kind of flattering, I think. So I'm very pleased I got those. And I didn't even pick other sizes, I just picked one size and these worked. And these are a size 29, 29 waist, 32 length. And then they also had these. Now these are actually a little bit too big. These are an exposed button version and it's black obviously. Vintage fit coupe vintage. What does that mean? That they still do fit, they're just a much looser fit. Um, so yeah, and also the bottom of these are a raw edge, but it's not like lots of frayed hems to them But I do like the idea of the exposed buttons that really attracted me and it's just a simple straight leg again jean. so I was very happy about those again I wish it was a size smaller, but this size works So me. last this time last Friday. I was in North Carolina I was flown there with a bunch of influencers for Farfetch and it was to celebrate the uh, anniversary of a boutique in North Carolina. Anyway, so we were kindly gifted something from the boutique and I chose a two piece. Some people chose like dresses because it's summertime. I chose, I chose a two piece, a trouser two piece. Um, they don't match to each other, but I did that to create an outfit. One is this philosophy blouse. You can see something like this at less expensive price points. Um, but this is by, like I said, this is by Philosophy and it fits so beautifully and the ruffle on it here looks so pretty. I'll show you what it looks like on and I got it with these beautiful, beautiful Sonia Ricciel trousers. So yeah, they do flare at the bottom there. So, so good. These are just absolutely fantastic. They are slightly high-waisted. Um, and I teamed it in North Carolina. I wore this on a Saturday night. If I'm gonna have something gifted to me, then it would be something that I would get a lot of mileage out of beyond one night. And this definitely is that for me, because I can wear these black tailored trousers with, with anything. And the same with that top, the off the shoulder philosophy top. I'll be able to wear that with two shoes. You lot know how I feel about castanet espadrilles. I really love them. I just think they're cut so well. Um, the black pair that I have, I wear them every single summer without fail and I also just picked them up in the gorgeous, like a baby pink colour. I think this is really pretty and I like how dark or deep this part is. I really like that. So I got these and I really, you know, I'm just looking forward to wearing them. I wear a size 41 in the Castanet Espadrilles, which is, I don't know, I don't know, you know I'm a UK 8 and I'm a US 11, sometimes a 10, a European 41. So that's that's me, foot-wise. I just like that pink color to them. I think they're really, really, oh, they're so pretty. They're almost like ballet shoes. So good with like denim jeans, like, faded denim jeans i can imagine these looking really pretty or even with this dress right those two pastels two washed out colors coming together the black ones are my are my favorites I, I just love the black ones but i thought this would be a beautiful compliment for me to wear when i want to reach for a lighter espadrille i can just put these on instead so i'm very very pleased about these and i won't be surprised if these comes to new orleans as well but We'll see what happens when uh, you see my Instagram stories and see what I ended up wearing over there. Another pair of shoes I picked up you already know about and it is these by Mango. It is the ones with the buckle on the front. I love these. I just think they look a little bit more expensive than what they are. And they do run a little bit small, I will say. This is the largest size, which is the 41. They do fit, but there is a little bit of... Uh, I don't know, I feel like my foot, there's no space on the, the heel or on the, the toe area. So like my foot completely fills it up from end to end. But I was like, sod it, I love these too, too much. So I, I did take them. So that's just a bit of FYI for you. If you have very small feet, then you are very lucky because you can obviously get your size or just go up the next size. You guys are always good in my opinion because you guys always have the option of going up. And when you're like me and you've got large feet, you just gotta take the biggest size and cross your fingers that they're gonna fit. And from Zara, I picked up two pairs of shoes. I saw these flat sandals and I thought these are brilliant. I love these. They had them in uh, gold as well, in all gold, but I think these look a bit more contemporary. 
Um, so I picked them up in this multicolored combination of strands and I just like the combination of colors. They don't necessarily look like they're from Zara, they could be from anywhere if you ask me. And, and the, cause the colors are so pretty. Look at the color combination. See, that is, I love these. This is so, oh, so happy I got these and they're very comfortable as well. Um, feels true to size, more so even so than the mangoes. These are very true to size. These fit absolutely fine. Also from Zara, I picked up these beautiful, adorable, retro looking kitten heels with bows on the front they're black but if you look closely they got like a polka dot can you see that so there's slightly see-through right there kitten heel which is really easy and walkable and look at this bow detail on the front i just thought these were absolutely beautiful i wore these when i was in north carolina with farfetch and i teamed them with the black um trousers the flared trousers and i had these and the trousers just hit right at the ground when i put these on with them and these they're comfortable and they look chic at the same time and it's a nice surprise to see this polka dot here and um, i believe these are still available in all sizes at least when i made this video so i i think these are great i'm i'm so pleased because i was actually looking for something that was like a kitten heel in black i had, would prefer if i could still find something that is a closed toe version but this same sort of sleek silhouette, I love. And I thought these were just so dainty and so pretty. So I'm oh, so glad I got them. And there is another pair of Zara shoes that I found. They're slides. I'll insert a picture for you here. Um, they're actually going to be arriving about two to three days after this video is being recorded. So I won't be able to show you, unfortunately. And they won't be able to come to New Orleans with me either because this video is being recorded the day before I fly to New Orleans. So um, they'll be waiting for me when I come back, but I stalked those in a size 11, did the notification email, popped up in my size, and I just bought them. They come in three colors. I went with the red pair. Uh, the brown one, I think, is just too similar to my skin tone. I want something that would pop, so I wanted to go with either the red pair to wear with like denim. I think that pair of like red slides would look so cool, or um, the blue pair, but the red ones popped up, so I took them. I also picked up from Forever 21 this spotted blouse. I thought, obviously, I'm going dotty over spots, aren't I? But they it's just this simple blouse with high neck, again, what I love. My aim is to wear this with mostly with denim, actually, just tucked in and just wear a pair of simple slides. And then I think this is last but not least, unless I can think of anything else, I got this Burberry trench coat. Now, this was something that I was an absolute oh i couldn't believe it when i found it it was basically at a thrift shop i found this in queens now it is the vintage burberry which you know how i feel about vintage right you lot know if you're new to my channel by the way i am a vintage fiend i love vintage um and i did a roundup of my favorite vintage shops and that's linked below for you this is for the newbies have a look so you'll see how much i love vintage clothes and i like to incorporate like all these pieces here i like to like mix them with vintage pieces every now and again so this meant a lot to me when i noticed this was vintage it says uh, burberries and it was spelt plural when it was the vintage ones but the current burberry is spelt as just burberry um, I wanted a trench coat that was beige. I wanted the classic beige trench coat. I know that I have the one from Mr. Larkin, the olive green one, and I love that one to pieces. It's so good. But I, like I said, I wanted a beige train, trench coat. And I was just quietly looking, and I just figured, you know, it'll come to me. I'll just, I'll look around, but I'm not going to actively hunt for it. You know, it's one of those things I just figured, you know, I'll just let the universe do its thing, and it will come to me. And it did. Um, and I did capture it on Instagram live stories. So I remember when I found it, I like, just switched to live on my phone and just, I saw you lot like all like, you know, clicking and checking in to, to watch me when I was buying it and going like, yes, take, yes, don't take it. Yes, no, yes, no. Um, I ended up taking it and I really like it. It's oversized on me. So it is a size too big, but I love the size of this trench coat on me. I just, oh, I love everything about it. It's just exactly what I was looking for, the quintessential uh, Burberry liner. I mean, I wasn't looking for a Burberry trench. I was looking for a quality trench coat in beige. That was what was in my head. And I, I swear, just like the corduroy, the vintage corduroy suit, I, I swear I manifested that. So same thing, I wanted this and look, this turned up. So. 
Boy, I better be careful what I wish for. This is just, oh, it's such a classic. And I usually wear it open, just over a pair of jeans. And it looks fantastic, but it also looks good when, this is the kind of thing that when it rains, I cannot wait to go out. If I have to go out and it's raining, this is what brings a smile to my face. It's wearing this. Um, I usually just wear it tied. I don't buckle, I just tie the, the uh, belt together and just go, down, go about my business or I'll just leave it completely open. It'll just swing whilst I'm walking. And I just, oh, this is so good. I chuffed when I managed to score this. Who would have thought? Anyway, I think that is it. Was there anything else? Uh, so I forgot to show you one more thing that I got and it was this Topshop dress. It's been on my Instagram already, but um, I just quickly put it on now. Um, it is this polka dot dress, navy blue base with these little white spots all over it. I thought it was really pretty. High neck, beautiful full sleeves going into a tight cuff on the wrist and it has a su surprise keyhole back which is really nice. I love that about it, how it's just so completely like covered up in the front and you have that surprise at the back. And at the bottom you will see that it has a slit on it as well. Um, I couldn't find it online, but I did find it on the inside the top shop itself, the one on Broadway in Soho. So yeah, so this is the last piece from my recent find. So. That is my lot. I don't think there is anything else. If there is, I will add it in. The Zara slides are on their way this week. So when I come back from New Orleans, you'll be able to see all of that. But in between then and now, feel free to follow me on, on my Instagram stories so you can see what I'm wearing on a day-to-day -day, day -day basis and what I'm seeing over there. Because I don't know, I want to see if I can do a, a vlog over there of like, the shops and what the shopping experience is like in New Orleans. So I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, you will see. If you follow my stories, you're gonna see. Like, we'll see together, basically. So I think that is it. So have a nice weekend, guys, and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Bye.